Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.35 on this Tuesday. Um, today's topic is uh, the, the white laser. Way too early. Or that Higgs protozoan space, the electrons, light, the magnetism, a particle, and momentum, the receptors, radiation, our mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? Um, let's see. So I think we've talked about lasers before. Let's do a quick, quick recap on what lasers are. Lasers are. <sighs> these devices that um, a laser a characteristic of a laser is is this light that that's in a very a very thin narrow band physically um, and typically it's it's one wavelength so a sing a one color uh, so you get your red lasers your purple lasers your blue lasers orange lasers yada 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 yellow lasers um, and you you generate a laser by having some kind of medium you pump energy into that medium um, you have sort of a um, they call it I think it's called a well um, and then that generates the light and so you know you may have a gas medium or um, a solid medium um, or a crystal or a semiconductor uh, some sort like that you pump energy into it so either you you shoot a laser into it um, or you um, you you pump uh, electricity into it somehow you 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 put more energy into that um, into that medium and then typically you have mirrors on either side and so um, the energy goes into the medium the electrons uh, in, in the atoms of that medium bounce to the outer shell. They are unstable, so they bounce back. That generates uh, light um, of a particular wavelength. That light um, starts you know, bouncing back and forth between two mirrors. One mirror is 100%, another mirror is like 80-20, uh, and so most of the time these photons keep bouncing back and forth but it'll release out one end and that's your laser uh, and so it's a high concentration of light again typically one one wavelength oh, um, but white laser the color white when it comes to light is a combination of all of a bunch of wavelengths across and so, you know, a white laser is achievable if you can shoot out a bunch of different wavelengths. Uh, uh, you know, so usually it's more difficult because you're dealing with more wavelengths. Um, they, they are, they were able to achieve this. So the, the, the kind of, again, you've got you know in your laser you have gas lasers where the the medium is a gas sometimes they're solid um, the the form of laser that they used this time was a semiconductor monolithic semiconductor laser uh, monolithic meaning that your your semiconductor is a multi-layered piece of electronic basically um, and so that semiconductor um, generated laser light at a bunch of different frequencies. Um, so typically you have problems with that because you usually have one kind of uh, material to generate a specific wavelength. To get white light again you got to do multiple wavelengths so you got to have multiple materials well, if you have multiple materials side by side, they sort of bleed into each other. Um, you don't get as uh, as efficient or as effective wavelengths. 
uh, if there's bleeding like that. So what, what they were able to do is they have this silicone, this thin silicon, uh, or thin semiconductor layer, uh, and they, they have three different materials. So one corresponding to red, one corresponding to blue, one corresponding to yellow, your three primary colors. Um, it's a semiconductor laser, and so instead of the, the way they pump energy into it is through electricity. Uh, so again, you have your three, you pump electricity into there, the, the, uh, the electrons go to the outer shell, they jump back to the inner shell, and they give off light. And so over here you've got white, or you've got red light going, and you may have uh, yellow, and then blue. Uh, and then so each of those shine a laser and then you combine those three and you, when you combine three primary colors you get white light. Now with this device it just so happens that you can you can actually uh, generate any color laser through the combination of those three. So that's kind of cool. It's tunable. That's what they call tunable. Uh, so with the same with the single device you can have white laser or you can change it to orange or purple or any kind of any kind of color that you want um, or at least that's the theory anyway and they have been able to generate uh, make this which generates uh, laser light at, at whatever uh, color that they want so this is useful um, you know generally we think of I think currently we think of LEDs as the primary source of of light but if they can use laser laser is like 70% uh, sharper, stronger, uh, better, faster, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and so if we, can, if we can do better with this white laser light, uh, it may replace the LEDs um, as far as a light source and electronics. So, you know, you've got screens that are LED-based screens um, and things of that nature. Um, so this is kind of cool if they can if they can get this to work more we may see uh, better picture better screens uh, with laser with laser type light sources um, it allows for other technologies like um, there's a thing that they're trying to work on called Li-Fi so we all think of Wi-Fi which is you know microwave uh, signals uh, to, to connect all of our small electronics um, Li-Fi we have sort of talked about in the past uh, where it's this light coming down from top and they use visible light to transmit signals between a router and electronics and so you can couple that with general lighting as well um, your speeds are a lot faster if you can do that uh, you have to have direct uh, line of sight though so you can't have, you can't have anything blocking it um, but you know, if you if you use it as as just general light from the ceiling, uh, you're not going to be blocking much anyway. You, you can't put anything underneath the tables or whatever. But so you know, white white laser. Uh, if we can, like I said, if we can do better with this, we there are certain technologies that that could improve drastically. Um, so much of our stuff is the screens, and so we may see a direct improvement there. Um, it, it, it's kind of exciting, um, and because it's it's semiconductor, you know, they can make it super small. Um, yeah, so there you have it, white laser light. Um, could be changing a lot of our, a lot of our visual technologies, uh, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take them. <laughs> so, uh, all right, I got to head into work. You got to go do whatever it is you do um we'll talk to you tomorrow